Good morning. Today we have a 50 kilometer gravel ride. I have 42 tires today. Uh, pressure is about 30 psi. I have the cush core inside. If I didn't have the cush core, maybe I would be around 32 to 34. The route today is super exciting. So there's some connection that I have no idea about. I think it's about 30% road. The rest is gravel. Um, so today super short but intense workout. So we're gonna have four times one minute maximum. So uh, I start as fast as I can and I just uh, go as hard as I can for as long as I can. So you kind of start at like almost max power and uh, your power go down uh, gradually. At the end, you're like almost not able to push on the pedals. After that, we're gonna do like the loop and we're gonna finish it with uh, two times four minute um, at over threshold. So at about 450 to 500 watts. But the interesting about this video today, I think is that I'm gonna show you guys my, my routine that I do after each workout to recover uh, properly. So um, I have like four to five practice that are very key to recover as fast as possible and be uh, as ready as I can for the workout of the next day. So um, that will be the main uh, learning lesson, I guess, from this video. Um, the quote today that I have in mind is a quote by Travis uh, Marcy. Travis Marcy is an ultra runner and he tells us just to, uh, I'm not quoting him exactly, but he tells us to uh, remove the option of quitting categorically for our mind. So it's, it's not even an option. So I know he's an ultra runner, like I said, so his quote is more applicable at his long distance running, but I'm gonna translate it today uh, as my workout because those one minute are so hard. After 30 seconds, you really want to quit mentally and just, I guess, finish the interval, but not do it as hard as, as you can. So um, that will be the, the quote that I will be uh, having in my mind during this training. I'm gonna be listening to primarily two albums I think today that I'm very excited about. So there's a new album by uh, Charles de Pirate. Charles de Pirate is a French Canadian uh, songwriter. It's not the usual type of music I listen to, but I'm excited for this one. So um, let's do it. Should be a, an amazing ride. Let's go. from the ride um, it was actually a very fun ride pretty cold at the end it was like five degrees or something um, as you saw um, mostly gravel a lot of double track a little bit of like single track sketchy connection um, one descent was actually very surprising uh, the one you saw at the end I never did it and I was like maybe it's not gonna be for a gravel bike but it was actually almost all possible on the gravel but it was like super shaky and super technical and after that the two times um four minutes on the last climb were pretty hard um i think the last 100 meter is at about um 25 percent so at the end with the um, hard rate super high it was actually uh, very hard um for my routine i was supposed to uh, bring you guys and do it like live or something but um some something was in the way so i just decided to do it super fast without filming and everything so when i arrive i make sure to uh, do a recovery drink so i'll put some fruit um i'll most of the time not put a protein in the shake i'll prefer just um taking like canned fish 
um, or something uh, similar to that. So the protein, I usually take it on the side and uh, my, my carbs uh, intake mostly comes um, from fruit, but I also put the uh, nuts butter. So um, there's uh, some protein and some fats there. Um, for the rest of the session, I do a 15 minutes leg compressing uh, session. So I use the air relax. Um, I'll do that for 15 minutes and I'll read at the same time. And after that, I'll just do a quick nap uh, between 15 minutes. Actually with the reading and everything, um, I'm usually able to uh, fall asleep during that time. Sometimes when I'm well rested, I don't feel asleep, but I make sure to do it. Anyway, it's just, uh, a nice way for me to separate my day in two parts so having the training sleeping doing my recovery stuff and then i can work on something else so my cycling career i guess or just having time with my girlfriend or family so um that's mostly why i do this routine is really to create space between the first part of the day and the second part of the day so i arrive fresh and ready uh, to attack the second part of the day because if i don't do that sometimes i just do my training and I feel tired un until I go to sleep. So um, this part for me is actually a way to be more productive. Yes, it costs me 30 minutes, but I think uh, it adds a lot of energy to the rest of my day. I always say it's not about time management, it's about energy management. So um, that's about it for today, a quick one. As usual, take care of yourself by making the most optimal choice in every moment and do the same, take care of the ones you love.